Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to talk about all languages in SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. So I would like to talk where all the language keys are stored, how you can get an overview of all the languages and yeah, enjoy this video and let's get started. So basically there is one important table within the SAP system that allows you to get an overview of all the existing language keys within SAP. So therefore you can open up the data browser with the transaction code SE16N and therefore then you can open up the table T002 hit the enter key and basically within here you have the ability to show all the language keys uh, within the SAP system and basically there is also the linked text table so it's a T002T with the language key text so if we open up the T002 and then we uh, execute the selection then within here you can see all the language keys within the SAP system so for example DE for German or EN for English and um, yeah, if you would like to get an overview of all the currently installed SAP languages, and then you have to open up the transaction SMLT, because in this transaction, it's uh, the, the language management, and here you will see all the currently installed uh, languages within the SAP system, because uh, it doesn't mean that the language keys uh, available in the T002 um, are maybe not supported in your SAP system. And if you don't have access to the SMLT transaction code, you can also open up the T002C um, table because therefore it's the customizing data for uh, the language keys for the T002 and there here all the same information are stored. And if we open up once again the T002 and show all the available uh, language keys, for example, once uh, again for German, that is important to know that there's a difference between the, the output, so the shown value, and the saved value, so the unconverted value. Because within, if we open up the, um, the, the, yeah, the um, data type, so with the technical name, then a data element, then with SPRAS, we can see that basically, yeah, here one uh, domain is being used. So if we open this up, and then within here we can see that it has an, an format based on the safe. So it's using the data type lang for language key with the number of characters one, and it outputs this value uh, with the output length of two. And therefore this routine uh, isola is being used. It's also uh, case sensitive. Um, so if we open up this routine, you have to uh, make sure that you are using those two function modules in order you are working with languages. So if you, for example, would like to output the language key and on the other hand, taking the user input and uh, maybe save the uh, language, and then you have to use those two function modules to convert the language keys properly. So keep this in mind. And within the value range, uh, of course, there we can see that for this domain, just the values for the T002 table are allowed. And if we're going once again to the data element, then we can see on further characteristics that this search help is being used with the SPRAS uh, parameter. And if we open this up, then once again, uh, yeah, it's uh, crystal clear that for the selection method, this table is being used, the T002. And uh, if you are using uh, in selection screens um, this data element SPRAS, then you're also able to use this parameter ID SPR. So currently there are 39 languages supported within SAP ERP and SAP S4HANA. So in SAP S4HANA 
2022. And how can you get an overview of all the supported languages in your current version? Therefore, you have to open up the so-called product availability matrix. So within the uh, abbreviation PAM. So I will link this SAP uh, note in the video description and down here you have a link to the SAP product availability matrix. So and once you've opened this up, um, yeah by the way uh, I will also uh, put the, the new uh, link to the PAM in the video description. Um, yeah you can search for different uh, version, versions for a product version whatever you like to. But if you, for example, see all the supported languages for SAP S4HANA 2022, then you, uh, for example, open this up. And then under technical release information and then languages, down here you can see all the currently supported or available languages for this version. And for example, if you open or click on additional information, then uh, for example for Arabic, there you will see uh, the link to the SAP node, for example, um, where you will get some uh, detailed information about this language um, in here. And of course, there uh, yeah could be uh, there could be more uh, languages in the SAP system besides the 39, and therefore you can open up a new um, SAP node. I will put all the links in the video description because down here you can see the supported languages and code pages. Um, yeah, so what kind of uh, languages are currently uh, available and there there is uh, yeah as we see in here you can use over 470 native and historical languages <laughs> i think you won't use them at all um, yeah but it is really important down here you will get a nice overview about uh, this one and if you want to get an overview of all the supported languages within SAP Fury, then once again, you can open up the, the PAM, so the product availability matrix, search for your version and then see um, if they are available. So for example, you can do this for um, specific uh, apps also. Uh, because within this SAP node, it's explained what international languages are supported in SAP Fiori uh, by default. So once again, here you can search for your app and then in the palm you can search for your version and if um, or how many languages are supported and uh, yeah, so on. Uh, really, really nice SAP node. And if you would like to import a new language within the SAP system, then there are you know, some steps needed. So first of all, within this SAP node, there it's explained that first of all, you have to, uh, to call this ABAP program. All the detailed steps are explained here quite nicely. So you can open up the SA38, the ABAP program execution, paste in this program, hit the F8 key. And yeah, basically here you are in the I18N language configuration. So you have to configure your new language that you would like to use within the SAP system. And then after that, you can open up the SMLT transaction code to uh, you basically uh, to, to import the new language packages and everything is explained in detail again within this SAP node. So here basically you will get a nice overview of all the need that uh, transports, um, um, packages, whatever, uh, really, really nicely. As mentioned, I will put all the SAP notes in the video description. Within here, I have uh, created a small report to change the language within the SAP system. So basically, once I execute this, then basically within here, you can uh, enter your language. So for example, I would like to switch to German, then I select the E for German. 
then I execute it and basically within here a new uh, session is being created but the very important uh, magic happens within here be, uh, within here I'm sorry within here because therefore with this ABAP statement with set local language and then within here you can yeah, basically set a local language because uh, those are stored in the system uh, variable uh, langu. So within here, you are able to store the language queue of the SAP user. Um, yeah, this is really uh, important to know. And yeah, I think there are a lot of information about languages within the SAP system. Um, yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions left, put them in the comment section and please subscribe this YouTube channel to follow very great upcoming videos in the future. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.